Hi guys and welcome back to episode 4 of the Builder Nation Challenge with Cork City. As you can see, we're doing quite well in the league. Like, we're only two points behind the top, although we do have Shamrock Rovers next. That's a massive game, but they are a game ahead of us. Always a good thing. I'm a bit concerned about St. Pat's, but this is a two-game episode, which I believe the next game after is St. Pat's. So, hopefully we can um, get a result out of that game and try and stop them on their 100% record at the moment. But uh, going back to the schedule, as you can see... Um, our last game we watched in the last episode was the 5-1 demolition of Sligo Rovers. Since then, we played Limerick um, FC, which it was a bit of a boring game to be honest. Like, even though it was 2 all, so you'd think it'd be pretty good. There wasn't much going on with both equal, cancelling each other out. Like, some good goals in the game, but I think the score's about right. You know, I would have liked to win it, but... Yeah, like I said, that's about right. Um, the other game was a thrashing, an absolute massacre of passage, which is why I didn't want to come back for this, even though it was a cup game and a quarter final, just because I knew it would be a walk in the park. Um, I mean, they only had 10 fans turn up. So, says it all for that one. We have drawn, I think, Avondale United, which I think is another very small team, so we probably won't even come come back for that game. Yeah, down here. Uh, so, yeah, today we're going to play Shamrock Rovers and St. Pat's Athletic. So let's get the first game underway. We've lost our striker, Cummings, for a couple of weeks. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world. We're playing Nash. He hasn't scored a goal this season yet, though. But then he hasn't really played much football. I think he's only come on as a sub a couple of times. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, yeah, he's come on twice as a sub. And had one start in a figure friendly. Although he did get a hat-trick in that game. But yeah, so he's going to get start today and you'll notice as well that I'm going to leave this a gap because what I do is my rule is on the first team here I only have players with at least two and a half stars ability sometimes or even three star ability on on the first team if it's not higher than three if even two and a half like these I keep that just, just a rule I've got I don't know why I just feel like they're not good enough and because it's not a long-term injury I don't mind leaving it a gap. If it was like this Alan Bella, he's out for quite a few months. So if he had taken up a substitute place, I would have obviously gone into the under 19 and brought someone up. But that's the reason for that. But yeah, fitness is looking pretty good. Sharpness is looking pretty good. So we're going to get this game underway. I think it's a tough game being away from home and with the form they're on. Very, I mean, they've got some good players as well. Did he used to play for Cork? No, I'm losing the plot, I think. Yeah, I think I may have had him in another save, but I'll scout with him anyway. Tilly as well, he has got one hell of a strike on him. He plays some good game, go, um, make some good goals. <clears throat> right, uh, tell him what's about to prove a point. Kind of. That, I, I just think all oh, the best again. I mean, they're listening keenly, that's, that's good enough for me. Alright, let's see if we can pin back Shamrock Rovers. With a game ahead of us, and see if we can leapfrog them. I'm not sure if this is going to be an actual highlight or not. Nah. Good amount of fans turn up for this game. That's good to see. All right, Carl on the tack onto Green. It's got the wide. Oh, I think they're. Build into the stadium. I like that improvement. If anyone played last year's game, if you looked, it was an unrendered silhouette, basically, of the construction. They could not be bothered. It was quite disappointing. So it's good to see they've added that back in. Right, Shepard onto O'Connor. Through the middle to Nash. Has a shot and a lovely goal. He might even be fighting um, Cummins when he comes back, to be fair. If he can take the ball with both reins and bang a few goals in. Fantastic start, but a long way to go. Whoa! <laughs> what happened there? Why did he do that for? It did look like he pushed him, but why this early in? Oh my god. Right, I'll keep. It's going to be a bit of a gap, but I think we need to have a striker still, so we'll just, yeah, we'll see how it gets on, and we'll change it half time if needed. Well, I was going to say it was a good start, but now I'm not so sure, because even though we're winning, a man down this early, 
away at Shamrock Rovers is a big ask. Alright, they've got the corner. Good safe hands by McNulty. I am tempted to drop him soon, actually, just because of how old he is. I feel he's going to decline really quick. I'd rather play that Targ Ryan. But I'm going to give him a few games see how he gets on. But, yeah, I'm probably going to drop him. Lovely by Nash. Oh, d offside. I didn't even realise, to be honest with you. Miles offside. He needs to improve his game. If we can get to half time 1 0 up, we might have a chance, but yeah, we'll see. They are a dirty team. I mean, I know we've had a player sent off, but they love their yellows. Still all composed, so that's good. Right, I, that, I'm quite happy with that considering. Again, prove a point. What point are we proving? It's too early in the season to do stuff like that. Right. Uh, I'm going to say I'm happy with performance, keep it up. No, actually, I think that one's better. Come on, lads, we are down a man, but we still get a result here. Yeah, that worked. It motivated um, Carl Shepard. And the rest are all, well, most of them all listen keenly, so that's fine. I don't often do shouts in games. I feel like they don't actually really do anything. They sometimes help the uh, body language, so if need be, I will try and start using that, make it a bit more interactive and immersive. We'll see how we get on, but at the moment, as you can see, we're fine. It's the other team, actually, we might be able to take advantage of. By looks of it, they did what we did with the goal, according to their stats. Right, Griffin with the corner. Oh, Manus fumbles it on the line and out for another corner. Griffin again, whips one in. McLaughlin. End of highlight. Um, well, I normally, because fitness isn't too bad, I go by stats, which, yeah, Gerard Mor Morrissey is not doing that great, so I bring McCormick on. Bolger, just so I want to quick look at him. Have I had him before, or is he, yeah, they used to play for Cork. I want to, like, I'm pretty sure he's a good player, so I'll see if I can bring him back, potentially. Maloney off as he's booked. Don't want to risk that. We've done really well, actually. I mean, look at that. They've absolutely hammered us. Possibly due to that man down. And we've managed to hold our own so far. Can we Can we go past the finish line? I think... I mean, there's still enough for there to be an actual highlight. But we're on the attack with Horgan. McCormick. On to Buckley. Nash. Horgan again. Just keep the ball in the corner if you need to. I should probably put time wasting on, to be fair. I think we've just done enough. Griffin, keep the ball. And that that is a result and a half. I'm very happy with that. A bit annoyed about the red card, though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say we're going to be passionately happy about that. Yeah, I thought they'd like that. Considering we were a man down from like 9, 10 minutes, that was an outstanding result. Yeah, um, right. Oh, he thinks it was for bad tackles. Harsh. See, I didn't properly see it. Let's view the incident. Because I didn't get to properly see that. And I, I don't want to punish him for no reason. Uh, to be fair, no, I don't think that was harsh. Because he came out of nowhere when the players not even the ball and just took him out. But because we won the game... I'll give him a warning. Yeah, and he accepted it, so that's fine. Right, I'll come back um, in a minute for the next game, guys. See you in a sec. Right, we're back. I'm ready to play St. Pat's. And as you can see, they won their last game again. So that's five straight wins. Only exceeded two goals in three games. They're scoring quite a lot as well. And... Although we're only two points behind, they're a game behind us, so we really, really need even a draw out of this result. So, um, yeah, we're going to give it a go and see what we can get out of this game. And another away game, I'd prefer to be at home, to be honest. Right, O'Connor's not available for this game either. I'm, 
I'm going to put McCormick and I don't, he's not very good in this position to be fair. I know a lot of people are going to moan about that. But I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I'm going to play him now. I think, I think he'll be okay. He's got some decent stats. Right, let's get this game underway. Let's see if we can not only go top of the table, but um, stop their 100% as well. Just got to scout a couple of these players that I've heard of from previous saves. Let's have a look. Right, so this one, yeah, I'll, I'll, let's, let's calmly just say, yeah, you know, have a bit of fun. Yeah, go out there and have a bit of fun. Okay, not great. Assistant, can you do any better? No better at all. Right, so that might not have gone down too well with the body language. But, we'll see. Apart from the cup final that we lost to Dundalk, this is at the moment our biggest game of the season. Massive game. Alright, so Buckley's on the ball. On to McCormack. Morrissey. Bangs it out wide to Maloney. Lovely ball. What can he do with it? Whips it in. Liam Nash with a header. Again, another great start. Let's just hope we don't get a player sent off like we did last time. Can we be the first team to make St. Pat's drop points? Outstanding ball. <coughs> Excuse me. In off the post as well, I think. Yeah, let's have no highlights for a while. We'll just chat about random stuff and <laughs> make the game go by quick. Right. We're playing out the defence. Not really sure. Okay, clearance. Bit of waste of possession though. Can we go again? Or are they going to try and do us over the top? Someone run with him. Someone run with him. Keep going. Oh, awful defender. What was that? Oh, disallowed. Right, lovely. Got a let off, boys. Not a good defendant at all. Right, so body language on our side is actually looking quite good. They're looking... Well, until we did that team talk, they were looking quite bad. But yeah, we're looking fine for now. It's 2-2 two two for Liam Nash so far. Might have to... um. Keep him on a bit, even when Cummins is back, just to see how things go. Although Cummins has scored quite a few this season as well. Buckley, lovely goal, 2 0. Maloney involved again. Turned out to be a good free signing. It's like the defenders didn't want to tackle him. It's like a little messy. Look at him go. Nice little dink. Awful defending by them, though. Not much the keeper can do. 2 0, half an hour. Right, Buckley's on the ball in our defence. Morrissey pings it nowhere and somehow ends up back at their goalkeeper. Well done, Morrissey. Good backtracking. Not too sure about the clearance, though. Oh, it's going to emulate their offside goal, isn't it? Back to keeper. That's why you go back to the keeper. McCabe, onto Forrester, back to McCabe. Sure. Clark, as one from distance. Jesus, what a shot that was. That would have been a good goal. Playing quite well, though. Could do him some more possession. But we're playing quite well. Body language still looking good. A couple of players could be improving though, so we're not playing great in attack. I mean, it's not bad McCormick considering he doesn't even know how to play that position. But it's proven proven to be a good decision. Good spirits. Tell the boys that he did well. See, I don't want to make him feel like the job's done though, so I'm going to cautiously don't get complacent. <coughs> Bang on. So then you realise, even though they're winning, if you think, oh, we won at half time, then, you know, it's a game of two halves. They could come out of nowhere and just batter us second half. 
and this is pretty much a must win if we want to have a really good chance of winning the league this year. I'm hoping after a couple of seasons, if we do manage to get a bit of money from the Champions League, we can sort of be the by far dominant team in the league. And then it's going to be basically a walk through. And it'll, be, it'll probably end up becoming mostly a European save. I might skip the majority of each season if we start battering it. And um, yeah, we'll just go and watch a lot of the European games if that's the only competition that's there or the domestic cups or such. But we'll see how it goes. You know, we might not even do that well this season. We might finish mid table or something, which. I might, I might even get sacked, but uh, hopefully not. But yeah, it's looking like this is a really good result. If we can just hang in there. Ten minutes to go. Long distance shot from Nash, just wide. Just fist past the post. Five minutes to go. No more highlights, please. Just run to the end. I think we're getting our wish. That should be game over now. So not only have we beat St. Pat's, we've got a clean sheet as well. That is a, a good result. Farris team to be able to beat, well, to even not lose, drop any points against them this season. So considering we lost that cup final, we responded pretty well. A couple of games later. Right, so we're going to passionately, you know, say, well done. Yeah, written us off, we've got a good result. Morale should be through the absolute roof right now. Yeah, gonna have to praise him for that. Your passing. Really? Okay. Um. Okay, fair enough. Attitude. What's his uh, personality like? His balance. Very strange. I just, you know, who doesn't like being praised? Weirdo. But yeah, so unbeaten in five games, that's pretty good. I think we only lost the first game of the season. No, it wasn't. It was second against Derry City. Yeah, I was quite surprised. I think the Northern Irish as well. Shouldn't even be in our league, but then, yeah, I don't know why that is. You get that in England, don't you? You've got a few Welsh in there. I think there's a couple of uh, English teams. I think Berwick Rangers are actually on the English border, but my geography's not great, but they're in the Scottish League. Uh, so yeah, looking at the league, we are second, a game ahead of Dundalk. See, that would be another tough one, trying to stop Dundalk from running away with it. But still early on, but very tight as it is. Quite happy with that. But um, let's have a look at the schedule for the next game. I'll skip Bohemians Waterford. Oh, I'll come back for Dundalk. And probably Derry as well, just to see if we can get a bit of revenge. So yeah, I'll skip the next two games. And we'll come back for these two. Then what I'll do after that is I'll probably skip all of these and I won't come back until Shamrock and Dundalk again. So we can get a little bit of the season underway. But yeah, I hope you like this episode guys and um, I'll see you next time. See you later.